Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video, we're going to be working on the Endless Runner that we've been working on for the last few episodes. Specifically, we're going to add in a Kill Z mechanic into the game so that if the player falls off of the level, they'll get killed and they'll have to reset the level and run it again. Real quick before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you stay updated when new videos in the series come out. Also, another thing I want to point out, I've been getting a lot of comments on the playlist saying that like I was skipping stuff in other parts of the videos and just jumping around, and I realized why. When I uploaded the videos into the playlist, they put all in random order, so it went from 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 5, 6, 11, 12, like it was all messed up in order. So I've gone ahead and reorganized that. Obviously, if you've made it this far in the playlist, you've already seen all of those, but just want to point that out for anyone who's still been tuning in with the series. Anyway, this is going to be a quicker video. There's not much to do on this. It's a really simple mechanic, but it is a critical mechanic. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's take a look at our player here. So in order to get to the Endless Runner map, if you haven't been here in a while, you need to go to Levels on our left browser down here and Endless Runner Level. Just go ahead and open it, save select it or whatever you've been working on, and this will bring us into the Endless Runner level that we've been working on. The next thing we need to go to is Level Items on the left over here. Click on Floors click on actors and we have our endless base endless one and endless two so let's go into endless one but we're going to do the same exact thing inside of endless base as well as endless floor so let's go into endless floor one if we go to the viewport of endless floor one we will see the little floor tile that we put together in a previous episode of the series what we're going to want to do is click add component in the top left and look for a box collision so just type in box into the search box up there and click box collision you can call it whatever you want box one is fine now we need to pick the height for our collision to happen that's going to kill the player. So go ahead and click on this box so you have it selected. You can click it over here, you can click it in the viewer, and we're going to go to the location. So I'm going to set this on the Z value to negative 2000. This means that it's 2000 units below the tile, so the player can fall for a little bit, like if you created other tiles where you went up or down regarding the actual movement of the player, there's a lot of room for error here. Like you have to have legitimately fallen to be able to cross this line. The next thing we need to do is make it so that it takes up a large area underneath the tile. So to do that, make sure this little lock box over here is unchecked, and we need to lengthen it in the X direction. That's the direction that our player is playing in. So to do that, we can go via scale, and we can just type in a number. Let's just try 200. 200 is way more than enough. We don't need that much. How about 20? 20 is not enough. We'll do 50. Nah, still not enough. Maybe 100. Uh, we're actually going to go back to 200 at the end, because you just want to make sure that even if the player has momentum going, that they'll hit that box no matter what. So that's plenty enough. We're going to let that go. Next thing we need to do is click on the box up in the top left corner that we just created, this box one, right click it, add event, on component begin overlap. This is going to take you to the event graph. If it doesn't take you to the event graph, click on event graph. The last thing we need to do here is create the code that's going to go ahead and kill the player. So all we need to do is drag off of this other actor. We're going to go ahead and type in cast to endless runner side scroller character. That's the name that we named our character that we're using in this series. If you named it something different, go ahead and pick whatever you named it. And then endless, endless side scroller character, drag off of that and just type in dead. It's going to say get dead or set dead. We are going to set dead. Drag off the execute from the top pin up here and check dead. We want dead to be true. If we hit compile and save and we hit play and the player comes along to one of those gaps, hopefully relatively soon, there it is. When the player crosses that 2000, he's dead. And that's basically it. The player can press R to reset the level or and we're back at the start here. So that is pretty much it for the video, guys. It's that simple. Go ahead through all the different floor tiles, add this mechanic into it, add this line into it, any other floor tiles you may have created, make sure to add them into it. That way, the player character does die when they cross that line. Anyway, guys, if you did like the video, if this video does help you, make sure to leave a like. Also, make sure that you're watching other portions of the series so you know how we got to this point. It's a 21 video series. I know it's pretty long, but it's definitely worth watching to learn how Unreal Engine 4 works. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.